Organizing Your Creative Career by uh, Sheila Sandra. How to channel, channel your creativity, your um, your creativity into career success. Um, so like myth versus reality, workspace. So um, work home life illusion, meal times, laundry cleaning, so on. Um, self promotion, pricing, and funding. Um, mini workstations will that last really um will the last reason really work in a creative space um where do you start setting up your workstation so um an office system you can keep on track how to be more efficient um, how to avoid stress in your workspace so it gives like point and some explanation um, set an alarm if you're very intensely um, if you're working very intensely and have to break in break to get it to a meeting allow a sh sufficient time to um, ready to go if you feel stressed stopped you may not think you have time to take a break but in fact you don't have time to carry on and mess up your work or trip uh, trip up and hurt yourself so kind of like um, different tips um, so, um, procrastination, getting support, network, um, so it's different things to consider, um, if you're wanting to, um, go towards the creative career or any kind of, like, work at home environment, but, um, She, the author is more calling us a, the creative um, career because like a lot of times people do the creative career at home or have a spot um, at their home or have rented a space but um, this is more at home type of thing so if you are somebody who is moving towards a creative career change and wanting to do it at home this can be a really great source for you to have and just her tips and um, things to consider um, in one book obviously you can like jot down notes of, from other um, sources but um, this can be a really great start of things to consider so organizing your creative career happy readings